Yo, what's going on? David Scammer Guy here, J Mobs Inc. Back again with another video. And tonight, we got a different type of video going on. Uh, you can see I'm not in the usual setup of the room. That's because we're going to go on the outside and we're going to do some footage in the night with the USR. Now, you know that you guys know I just picked up the USR. I actually did a video on it. You can check that up in the link above. Um, I picked up the USR because, you know, I felt as though it was doing really great. A lot of people recommended it and said that, you know, with the firmware updates that Canon brought out, that it really became, you know, a phenomenal camera and you should pick it up. I picked it up, I got it, and I'm excited to use it um, in my everyday use, like I've been using it. Uh, so tonight, what I want to do is actually push the low light performance of this camera and see what image can I get out of the Canon. Now, I've been using Canon for a minute now, and low light was kind of where it kind of struggled, you know? Well, I, don't, I never had the uh, 5D Mark IV or the 1DX Mark II, and I never had the actual Canon log footage to actually work with. So we're gonna be able to push that Canon log footage in the USR. Uh, we're gonna be shooting this in all I 60 frames per second so we can slow down the footage. Uh, maybe a little bit of 4K, but we'll see how it goes. So let's take this on the outside and we're gonna get some B-roll nighttime Canon low light footage. Let's go. Everything outside is super dark. That's just kind of just. As you can see, it's hella dark outside. Um, it's currently, I don't even know what time it is, but um, I'm going to try and go around and get as much B-roll as possible around the house. Uh, let's get into that. of the house I just went outside I literally had to crank my ISO so high like I am kind of afraid about how this footage is gonna come out if it's gonna be too grainy or whatever but uh, let's head to the computer and see what's up with the footage okay so I'm shocked um I didn't expect the USR to perform this well in low light it's I wouldn't say it's at Sony god tier levels of low light performance but this is this is really good like this is workable you know once you once you have a good enough external light source that isn't too bright but i'm really feeling the low light capabilities of the usr um let me know in the comments below if you have a usr and if you you know shooting low light how does your footage come out because this is this is really dope um yeah kudos to canon like 
the EOS R is really proving itself to be a little piece of a, a camera. Um, yeah, definitely. So this is part of the video, like I said last video, we're gonna be doing a lot of different things this year in terms of content, where I'm gonna interact with you guys a lot more. So we're gonna check out the comments so far that's been on the last video, that's me talking about the Canon US R and that's why I picked it up. So yeah, let's go check out those comments. Um, 7, 77 Driss, I think that's it, says, so many Sony and Fuji peeps are running to the Canon USR these days. I think I think I've seen about ten, 10 top. I think I've seen about ten top YouTubers switch. On paper, it's not the best, but in real world, it is a beast. And he's right. In the real world, like using this camera so far, like you see me freak out about the low light footage. It's literally a beast. You know, I just feel like Canon holds back with the features they get out inside these cameras because it's for money grabbing and with all of that but yeah definitely i agree with you bro um greg i i do not want to mess up your name greg mccamian greg mccamian says do you prefer a video out of canon instead of sony strictly speaking the i so oh speaking to iq sharpness and colors thanks um I'm 50-50. It goes 50-50 either way because with some things I want for Sony, like working to a concert or event where there's low light footage and I just shoot S log, I just shoot flat so I could control the colors. So it's 50-50 for me, but definitely stuff like YouTube content like this, I definitely would go with the Canon. Definitely would go with the Canon USR in that situation. Yeah, so it's 50-50. Um, JL says, appreciate the video, bro. Which camera do you prefer for stills and which one for video? For stills off the back, Canon, I bias. I've done some stills with Sony, but straight out of the camera, raw images, Canon, all day. For video, it's 50-50. Like I said, 50-50. Um, Zach Lang. What up, Zach? That's my brother, Zach. Make sure to go and check out his channel. I'll link it in the description below. Canon Bros. Jack. Zach just picked up the Canon EOS R2. Uh, me and Zach have been friends for, for a good minute now in this whole video game. So, shout out to Zach. And last one is Jimmy. The homie Jimmy Maki over there at Mark Fitty. He's like, what are your tips for creating great video content? Um, I would say definitely learn how to use your camera, number one. Learn the ins and outs of your particular camera. You know, you don't, it's a, literally a shit storm out here um, trying to decide what camera to get or it, it's so much different cameras. So master your camera would be number one. Second would be um, learning how to tell a story with how you shoot. And that's something that I personally want to do even better for these YouTube videos. But um, telling a story, like give your shots meaning, plan out your shots. Make it all make sense. Um, that's the quickest advice I could give about making great video content. You know, it's like plan, plan, prepare, and execute. Just plan your shots and prepare for it to look a certain way and then execute on that. And that's it. So definitely, guys, thanks for tuning into this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the little bell button below. Comment on this video to be featured in the next video because it's going to probably be a series about uh, the Canon USR for a good minute. And then we'll probably move on into other stuff. But I'm David the Gavin Guy at Chain Miles Inc. And I will see you guys in the next one.